Hey what's up guys so Samsung Galaxy Watch Classic has fantastic gesture control and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can use gestures to control this watch as well as the improvements that Samsung has made in the gesture control and later in this video I'll also show you how you can go totally hands free and control every aspect of this watch using just gestures so stick around till the end and with that let's get started so the first thing that I want to talk about is the basic gestures that you can use on this watch and for that you need to go in settings and then go in buttons and gestures scroll down and you will get to gestures and here you will see that we have three main types of gestures so we have double pinch shake and knock knock double pinch is by far the most popular one because it's the easiest to do and lets you control quite a bit so let's take a look at double pinch first so if you go in double pinch turn it on you can see the double pinch gesture right here so this is the double pinch gesture very easy you don't need to do much to do this so now this gesture comes with massive improvements and the improvements are in how it has been executed so what you can do now is that you get several aspects of the watch and you get to decide what this double pin gesture will do in those settings so for example if you take watch face the primary action is when there is a now bar on the watch face you can double pinch to open the now bar but if there is no now bar, you can set up the second reaction. So second reaction could be to go to the notifications or you can go to the next tile. So let's see how this works. So now here you can see that I have a now bar and if I make this gesture, it will open up the now bar. But if there is no now bar, now that second reaction that we set comes into play. So now if I double pinch, it will take us to the notifications and if I double pinch again it will take us to the next notification similarly in the music and media control you have a choice to select whether you want to play pause the media or you can go to the next track in alarms you can set it to dismiss the alarms or snooze for calendar events you can dismiss the events or you can snooze them and then we have the reminder alerts so you can set it to dismiss it or complete it. Now there is a fantastic little tip when you are using this pin gesture. Wherever this pin gesture is applicable, you will see a small icon appear in that place. Moving on now, let's talk about the shake gestures. So it is this moment basically, very easy and convenient to do. So what this will do is that you can rotate your wrist twice to decline incoming calls, dismiss alerts such as alarms, timers and reminders, return to the watch face after checking a notification, or discard enter text while typing so this is all you can do with this shake gesture let's take a look at how it works so right now I am in notification now I want to go back to the watch face I can do this gesture and it takes me back to the watch face let's say I'm typing this text now I want to discard it I'll just shake and it gives me this prompt to discard this text and I can just go ahead and discard it so for example if you have both of these gestures turned on you can double pinch to go to your notifications look at your notifications when you're done you can just shake to go back to the watch face and then finally we have the knock knock gesture so if we turn this on and then go in knock knock gesture here you can see that you can use this gesture to open specific apps or settings so this is the gesture very simple all you have to do is do this knock knock gesture and right now it is set to open this exercise so it will open that so first of all you can go in the exercises and you can open my exercises app or you can set it to open specific exercise so you've just seen the demo where i made this gesture and it opened the walking exercise you can also use it to open recent apps open stopwatch turn on flashlight or turn on water lock mode and if that isn't enough you can use it to open pretty much any app that you have installed on your watch but now let me show you the gestures that you can use to control every aspect of this watch totally hands-free and these gestures are called universal gestures and you can find them by going in settings and then go in accessibility and here go in interaction and dexterity and you will see universal gestures so if you go in the universal gestures and turn them on it gives you this instruction so while universal gesture is on gestures and settings 
buttons and gestures will be turned off temporarily. So all the basic gestures that I've shown you earlier, they will be turned off while universal gestures are turned on. So let's turn this on. Now if you scroll down, you will see the activation method. So you need to make the fist twice to first activate the gestures. After that, you can go in gestures and take a look at how to control the watch and different features of the watch using these gestures. So with these gestures, you can basically control every aspect of the watch. You can go in the notifications, you can go in the tiles, you can go in the app drawer, you can pull down the quick settings panel and then you can select different apps and different settings. You can pinch to go to the next item, double pinch to go to the previous item. Making a fist acts like a tap, so you'll enter the setting or the app that you're tapping on and making the fist twice will open the action menu. Making this back and forth gesture will take you back to the previous screen. If you go in the gestures tutorial, you can also practice these gestures and you know, get good at it. You can also turn on how to activate the universal gestures from the activation method. So from here, by default, it's set to make fist twice, but you can change it to knock knock gesture, nod gesture, shake gesture or auto activate when the screen turns on. You can also change the focus indicator color from green to any of these other colors. So that's about it from this video guys. These were all the gestures you can use on Galaxy Watcher Classic. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.